This mess behind me is staghorn sumac. Staghorn sumac is native and on abandoned places, especially around old farms, uh, staghorn sumac can be really common. Uh, during the summer, staghorn sumac will have a big, long, pinnately compound leaf. That is, it'll have a central reef, leaf stalk with leaflets coming off of that central leaf stalk. And there, there are really quite a few leaflets. We'll say 15, it's an odd number, we'll say like average 15 leaflets per leaf. And again, that's a big, long, pinnately compound leaf. That central rachis on, on that leaf, they are fuzzy on staghorn sumac. Um, fortunately, well, I mean, even if the leaves are gone, staghorn sumac is very easy to identify. Uh, it's called staghorn because the twigs are about the thickness of a, of a deer's antlers, and they look like antlers in velvet. And they're, they're really, they're very, very fuzzy twigs. If that's not enough, if we look closely at these leaf scars, they have a very, very narrow leaf scar and a fuzzy pale bud. That's super distinctive. If that's not enough, they will have a large peanut buttery pith. Again, very, very distinctive. Out here on the ends of the twigs, hanging on through most of the winter, we have old fruit clusters, and the fruits on staghorn sumac, they are little red berries. They're covered in fuzzy red hair. 